when you're writing away, working on a Mac, you can copy something and then you can paste it somewhere else. <laughs> you're not looking really shocked by this, are you? you well, I, I'm not going to say I was shocked by copy and paste either. I was really, really surprised because here are six things I didn't know copy and paste could be used for. And I didn't know them after 30 years of writing on Macs. Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which, as ever, as always, it is for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs, but also on iPhones and iPads. Do subscribe or support 58 Keys on Patreon because... Well, if we didn't know this after 30 years, there's always so much to talk about. I didn't know it after 30 years. Eh? I think, all right, you just never thought, right? Let's just start from the beginning. You never thought there would be a lot about copy and paste. How much can there be? Except perhaps that it was actually invented by Larry Tesla in the 1970s. Eh? You are so used to it. You never thought that someone had to invent it. But there you go. There it was happened in the 1970s sometime but now these six things ending with the one that I missed for three decades I think and starting with the one that actually made me look into this in the first place as it happens I write a lot of articles and generally I have to illustrate them as well and you know if I can't just reuse an old image I will make a new one uh, using this app Pixelmator Pro as it happens could be anything and um, because I have to fit certain sizes on the website for the article well not a shock I have a template image that I start with. Okay, but I can't believe I did this for so long. I'm actually I'm actually now forgetting a bit the tedious steps I used to go through. But broadly speaking, I, I would get a new image or I'd make one. I'd open it here in Pixelmator Pro and then maybe I'd just resize it if it was the right shape, crop it if it weren't. And then for some reason that I can no longer fathom, I would take the image into a new window, arrange it so that it was overlapping the window that had the, are you following this, that had the template in, and then drag the new one over the template. Yeah, now I do this. Here's an image supplied by Apple TV Plus and downloaded to my Mac. Um, I've already seen what it looks like before I chose to download it, so I know what's there. I don't check it now. I just click once to select the file, press Command C for copy. Then I'll pop over to the template in Pixelmator Pro and Command V for paste. Resize if I need, reposition if I need, but I'm done. If you knew that already, remember it doesn't have to be Pixelmator Pro, it could be anything, well then you could have told me, couldn't you? But if you didn't know, and if you do do similar image work like that in any app, like I say, I promise you'll never go back either. Yeah, let's give me some credit. This one, I knew. If I select some, you know, weirdly formatted text, and of course you know what it's like, the moment I want to show you something, I can't find anything bad enough online, so I've just kind of faked it up a bit here, but you see, you recognise this, you've seen it before, you know how it works. I can paste just the text, like so. That's using the regular Command C to copy, but not the regular Command V to paste. If you Command V it, you get all the weirdness. But if you use, no, hang on, I've actually got to move my fingers to remember this. Shift, Option, Command, V, then you paste without all that messy stuff. Mind you, Shift, Option, Command, V, that's pretty messy all by itself, isn't it? And it doesn't half contort your fingers. So you could, instead, you could just choose the Edit menu. And um, depending on the app you're using, OK, this pasting without the mess will be called, well, it'll either be called, um, most often it's Paste and Match Style, but sometimes I've seen it as Paste with Original style. Either way, it's the same thing. It means you get just the text. And if you use this a lot, well, well instead of the menu, you can change that shift option, RSI, keystroke, in something else that's less painful and presumably more memorable. Go to system settings, down to keyboard, then click on the keyboard shortcuts button. In the window that appears, click on app shortcuts on the left then uh, you see there's a tiny tiny disclosure triangle it's called next to all applications and now when you click that you get a plus sign at the bottom of the screen click that and what you're doing here is saying that you want a certain menu item to be chosen whenever you press certain keys that you're going to decide it's really important that you get the name of the menu exactly right in in this case paste and match style and it, it's also important, actually, that you pick a keystroke that isn't being used by something else already, or at least it's not being used by something that you care 
about. Something I, I'm not keen on this bit. I don't think this is very good of Apple, but at this point you can enter a keystroke. The Mac will not tell you that the keystroke is already in use and, and it really, really should. And then later on, when well, you, you've got your keystroke, you go to use it, there's a decent chance the Mac will just ignore you and what you want and will do instead whatever the previous keystroke is supposed to do. Anyway, um, unless you need it for something else, I'm going to suggest you try clicking there in the keyboard shortcut box and holding down the Control T, typing V. Control V. It's two keys, two keys even, close enough to Command V. It's worth a shot. Try it, but anything else you like. Two things though. First, I did say that the name of this menu varies between apps. Control V or whatever you picked will not work in an app that hasn't got a menu item that is called exactly paste and match style. What you could do is just live with it. Or if you only use a couple of apps, uh, you can go back there to that keyboard shortcut list. Uh, let's delete the one under all applications and set up the same keystroke to do different things in a couple of different apps. So we could have uh, Control-V in Pages, would choose Paste and Match Style, like we expect. But in Omni Outliner, for instance, the same keystroke, Control-V, would pick Paste with Original Style. You could do that. And the other thing, Paste and Match Style right means that the text you paste in will look like the text that's already there in your document whatever it is whatever font or size or color it is so here the last text there that i'd written was in red so the new pasted text is two that took a while to explain uh quick one this one uh how about this this is a photo of bbc television center in london where i used to work i love that building you can select the words television center in the image press command c to copy and then paste them into well in this case into pages that's it copy text from an image paste it wherever you like yeah all right just one one small thing if the image is on a website where actually that BBC TVC one was originally, this might not work. I don't know why. It has something to do with how the site displays images. But what I did just then to get that TVC one was uh, I took a screen grab at the website, Command Shift 3, then opened the result in preview, and then did what you saw with the text. I mean, most of the time, though, it just works. All of the time, with screen grabbing like that, you can make it work. Surprisingly useful. Love it. OK, so that's it with uh, still images, uh, specifically getting text from still images. But you can also copy images from videos. I mean, not the text, copy the image videos. You can copy a frame of a video and paste it somewhere as a still image. First, play your video uh, in the Max QuickTime player. And you should probably pause it at the right moment you want. I mean, you don't have to. You could try grabbing the frame just as it go yeah yeah don't do it with the video paused press command c now open preview on the mac and this time you don't press command v to paste in anything instead you go up to you make a new preview document really so uh command n for new would do it or have a look at this file new from clipboard there it is and now you can save it from preview to jpeg to png or whatever you need um, important thing, this works right with videos that you play using the Max QuickTime Player and probably with others. It might not work with third party apps like VLC and streaming services like uh, Apple TV Plus, uh, Netflix, BBC iPlayer, you know what a streaming service is, no, or DVDs. Actually, you probably might remember DVDs, but they might appear to work, but because of copyright protection, what you get is a blank, black image with nothing on it. So, no use to anyone. Another fast one, copy and pasting within Spotlight. Say you've pressed Command Space, right, to bring up Spotlight, because you are burning to know what 22 times 7 is. Type 22, asterisk 7, or actually 22x7, and you see the result. But press Command C, and you can now paste that result anywhere you like. Yeah, OK, it's time. I don't know why I'm feeling self-conscious about this. I mean, I first used Mac around 1987, I think, something like that, a Mac, Mac SE. It's possible. I don't think so. It's possible this copy and paste feature was there even then. But it has certainly been on Macs for at least a couple of decades, and I never even saw it. It's 
Control K and Control Y instead of, or as well as Command C and Command V. Yeah, give me a sec. In at least most Mac apps, and, and very probably all of them, you can use these two as an equivalent of copy and paste. Now, I don't know what the K and the Y stand for, if they stand for anything, but you could use them as effectively copy and paste. OK, but instead of seeing them as an alternative, you can see them as an extra. Use Command C, Command V as you like, and then sometimes you also use Control K and Control Y, and they don't interfere with each other. You know how that you know how this works. Normally, if you copy something and then you copy something else, well, the first thing you copied, that's gone. The Mac has what's you know, called a clipboard, and it holds whatever the last thing was that you copied using Command C. But it turns out it has kind of, it's like effectively a second clipboard hidden away that is just for control K. So if you do need to copy two different things, you could command C the first one and then command control K rather the second. And then when you want to paste them into something else, well, command V will pop the first one down and control Y will pop the second one. Uh, by the way, this only works for text. Uh, Command C, like you've seen, you can copy anything, text, images, whatever. Control K only does text. But this does mean that the Mac effectively has two clipboards and it's so handy to be able to copy and paste two things practically at once. Yeah, bonus thought if I may. I did say there were six things, right, that you can do with copy and paste and that Control K, Control Y thing was the last. Yeah, but if you see, I mean, I know you see the benefit of two clipboards. It's a bit awkward having two keystrokes, but you see the benefit of being able to copy two things kind of at once. Well, it's my civic duty to make certain that you know about clipboard managers. These aren't on the Mac by default. You have to buy them, but there are dozens of them and they all work in the same way. You copy something, then you copy something else and you copy something else, and you copy something else, and you don't lose any of those. You can paste the last thing you copied as normal, but also the last point one, the first thing you copied this morning, what you copied yesterday afternoon, any of it in any order. And I should also say, they let you uh, say, well, I want to copy this paragraph and that link and this image and that other paragraph, but then paste them all somewhere in one go and you can. Clipboard managers are so useful. There is actually a whole 58 keys video about them. Links below, of course. Uh, but uh, just for speed, let me say there's a clipboard manager in Alfred 5, the app that I use. Well, actually, I use it instead of Spotlight. Um, Spotlight's very good. Alfred does a bit more. And the clipboard manager is one of the bit mores that is a reason I use it. And actually, there's a 58 keys video about Alfred 5, too. Yeah, there you go. Who would have thought this? There is enough to say about copying and pasting that you could put off writing, you know, for several minutes watching these videos, couldn't you? And then actually you could put it off writing for longer as you watch the whole of 58. Yeah, OK. Relevant links in the description. All right. In the meantime, that's it for this edition of 58 Keys. Thank you very much for watching. Now take care of yourself. Hey, eh? don't put off writing too long and I'll see you soon.